Hey guys, in this RedGamingTech.com video, I'm going to be giving what is, in my opinion, the best games on the Steam Halloween sale. So, without further ado, I'm just going to jump right in. First of all, Anna. Um, it's 50% off, and this is one of those games I really liked, actually. I did a, a first look at this one, and it's on the channel. It's actually a really good game. Um, graphics are beautiful um aesthetics are nice it has a few things i don't like about it but generally speaking i have no issues with it at all so very good game for the price it's worth it definitely check out the video next fallout new vegas ultimate edition 50 percent off that brings it to 15 pounds i have seen the things cheaper very good collection i think many of you are probably going to own it however that's my only concern as in also Plants vs Zombies Game of the Year edition. I have a feeling many of you are already going to own that one. Worth checking out, but still. Next up, Darkness 2. This is actually the same price, if I remember, if I remember correctly, as the Steam Summer Sale, which is $9.99 or 75% off. Um, I like Darkness 2. It did have a few issues um, as a PC port. There were a few issues, I believe, with FOV. And overall, however, it was a good game. It wasn't that long. Um, that was another slight thing. Still, it was a good game. Worth checking out. Um, another one, Alice Madness Returns. I quite liked it. However, the longer I played it, the less I liked it, if that made any sense to you at all. Next up, Dead Space. There's Dead Space 1 and 2. I love both of these games. I, I literally mean I love them. Um, Dead Space 3 is also coming out soon. There's also the animes, so you might want to check those out if you've not already done so. There's Rage. I'd actually recommend you don't get this game. It's £6.49, which is not a terrible price, but bear in mind, if you look around, with Doom 3 BFG Edition, you get Rage for free. I repeat, for free. And generally speaking, I have seen Rage cheaper. So it's a very good game. I quite like it, but there you have it. Next up, another one I really want to mention um the walking dead um there's one more episode still to be released when you buy this you have all episodes 40 percent off a very good game uh there's a couple of videos on this channel which covers every episode just to give you a first impressions look of it also i am alive i really like this game i didn't play it too much but there you have it very good worth checking out so yeah there's also prototype 2 don't get it get prototype one if you do so desire to get a prototype personally i didn't like either of the prototypes that much although prototype two is definitely worse it basically is a cash in in my opinion um it's not an awful pc port by any means i've seen worse it doesn't suffer from massive slowdown however the graphics yeah they could really have done more next up uh, condemned criminal origins if i can say the damn words 50% off, it's not the cheapest it's been. For £5, it's not awful. There you have it. Left for Dead, I'm pretty sure all of you guys have it, so I'm not going to even go into the whole thing about that. Alan Wake, in my opinion, is an absolutely fantastic game. It's not as cheap as it could be. I have no idea why I emphasise that so much, though. However, it has been cheaper. Worth it, if you're so desperate to play it. Has been cheaper, however. Deadlight, oh my god, I love this game. I recently covered it. Um, in a video so definitely check it out by the way my god i love this game um i love the style i love the aesthetic i love the music everything about it it just absolutely fucking rocks and it's only 15 percent off which i know is not you know the best saving you've ever experienced in your life but if the thing wants to work with you, it just wants to scare the shit out of you, and it's a pretty good game. It's possibly not the most horrifying of experiences, and some of it has been done before, but I like it. And it, have I mentioned, it just looks beautiful. So check out the video. Um, I've also got my written impressions as well on a link right there, so click on it. So yeah, Orcs Must Die, not going to bother to go into that. I think everyone knows about it. Same thing for Amnesia. The one reason I would continue to mention amnesia is because of the mods if you guys aren't familiar there are so many different fan made mods in my opinion the only problem with the mods is sometimes they do become a little bit repetitive but if they are good they are very very good and it's very cheap plus as well if you don't like someone 
or you know um, have a brother or something and you just you know want to terrify them just make them play amnesia and it's all over so yeah personally it's one of those games that hasn't actually scared me i don't know why but everyone else i know is terrified of it and that's i don't know like so the hill makes me nervous amnesia doesn't i don't know why that is but regardless limbo i really love it i love the aesthetic visually it's possibly not the best game i've ever played but it's worth it for the visual aesthetic in my opinion it's it's pretty good price anyway uh alan wake american nightmares it's a lot cheaper than the original alan wake in my opinion you need to complete the original alan wake first there's also fear by the way um fear one two and three are available in my opinion they're a pretty damn great collection the only problem with fear one is in terms of the actual visuals it's aged a bit but come on now it's a fairly old game in my opinion also stay away from dead island i didn't like it they believe pixels is pretty good bioshock i'm pretty sure everyone's heard of by now i'm just going through now uh, a random list and i'm just going to be mentioning anything that really kind of pops out at me ghostbusters sanctum of slime some people love it some people don't like it i know it's a bit of an obvious statement for any game but check out some videos of it it's fairly cheap however so you might not be too bothered lucius um i haven't actually done a first impressions video i believe amata is working on one or has done one i have to ask her in my opinion i didn't really like it that much i you know i loaded it up and i thought it was okay but i just i i really didn't like it lucius um so there you have it i personally i'll just you know wasn't that keen on it cthulhu saved the world and also breath of death 7 basically if you're a fan of the 8-bit style of rpgs you're just gonna adore this even if you're not it's 66p come on now what the hell are you gonna buy for this price nothing that's what dead space 1 already mentioned hell yeah wrath of the dead rabbit very good game I have a video of it on the channel definitely check it out it is worth watching the video and also closure very similar visual style by the way to limbo and another reason why i definitely recommend checking it out it's a very very good game penumbra if you're a fan of amnesia um in my opinion it's a very good kind of pack pretty much by the same developers very good game very good price by the way four pounds for the complete pack not too shabby in my opinion stalker there's all of the stalkers available i have no hesitation recommending them even though i personally didn't enjoy them hugely i do know they're very good games but and you know there's going to be a but there they have been cheaper on steam so you might want to wait for christmas sales depending if you're just antsy to play something now there you have it vampire the masquerade bloodlines oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy okay this is a very good game but it has lots of bugs and by lots i mean an astounding number of bugs there were a number of patches that released but basically the official creators of the game pretty much gave up on it um for numerous reasons i'm not going to go into and uh yeah there is fan made patches which do fix a number of issues I personally just got so pissed off with the between patches. That's when I was playing it back in the day, by the way. It's made on the Source Engine, if I remember correctly. But I just gave up on it. The story is pretty reasonable, though. Anyway, I think that just about covers all of the games. This has been kind of a brief whirlwind tour. I know I've missed some of them. So if you are unsure about a particular game, you have a few hours. Well, depending on when you're watching this. Obviously, it's in a couple of days. You wouldn't have a few hours. But... Regardless, if you place a comment, and I'll try and do another video on this if I feel it merits it or they change the, the lineup or something. Regardless, I think you guys have a brief idea by now of what I am liking and what I'm not liking. So I will see you guys soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. And if you could hit the subscribe button, it would be amazingly appreciated. Bye for now.